Hi, I'm Zach Ganner. I guess I'm a show host. We're on the set of my Soul Pancake Show, Top of the Monday, and I'm the author of If at Birth You Don't Succeed, uh, which is the memoir of embarrassing stories that I have to tell. Let's see, I've had a show on the Oprah Network, I do a fitness show called Workout Wednesday, and I'm mainly a comedian. Oh, and I have cerebral palsy, which you may be interested in. Uh, I don't know what else. What do you guys want to know? I think people with disabilities are underrepresented on reality TV. I mean, I didn't really see many examples of other disabled people on television when I was on the show on the Oprah Network. And uh, for the most part, I think people are represented for who they are, but there is a tendency to represent everybody with a disability as inherently inspirational, which I sort of talk about in the book. And I think, you know, everybody should be represented for what they actually bring to the table. Because I've, I've met some great people with disabilities, great people without disabilities, and then some people with disabilities who are actually, uh, you know, jerks. What's my best dating advice for people with disabilities? And am I a good boyfriend? Well, I'm not a good boyfriend right now because I'm single, but I, I would say that I was a good boyfriend, but we broke up, so I don't know how true that is. But my best advice for people with disabilities in dating is you just have to communicate a lot. If you're having issues and, and you're, you're worried that the disability is gonna become like the focus, make sure you're always communicating with your partner and that you keep boundaries and that your your partner doesn't become like your helper or your mom. My best advice for landing a job when you have a disability is to develop great people and interpersonal skills. Um, Cause I think that trumps everything else. And as far as getting jobs in reality TV, I mean, I don't know how many there are, but if there's ever the opportunity, audition because what's the worst that can happen you know and putting yourself out there is something that we all need to learn how to do when did i realize i was funny i still haven't realized i'm funny the best thing about cerebral palsy is that i get free uh ice cream at dairy queen not true cerebral palsy i think helps me develop empathy for other people that are struggling and it sort of helps me recognize that all struggles are cut from the same cloth. And that anyone, regardless of whether or not they have a physical disability, is struggling with something. And when you have that empathy to recognize that in others, then it just helps communicating with people. The mantra I live by, only wear pants when absolutely necessary, which is never, and it's especially not when you're behind a desk. Thanks for having me, Easter Seals. I can't wait to talk to you guys more in March. I will see you soon. Bye.